Hey everybody, Arnaldo Waffman here of Gear It First. Today I want to talk to you about the trust pyramid that I've done a couple of different times. You've seen these in some of my setups and I always get asked how I build my pyramid. Now, a lot of us in the past have created the pyramid by using additional sticks of trust, either as outriggers or as feet. But I found a much easier way using the one by four base plate. But how do you attach a truss that's at an angle into a base plate? For that, I use the book corner. Now, the book corner is an incredible tool that allows you to create new setups, not just pyramids, but letters or other funky shapes using truss. Let's go ahead and assemble that real quick. You can see how easy it is. Now, in this case, I created two 15-foot legs by using a 10-foot stick of truss and a 5-foot stick of truss. And right now, I just have my book corner completely open. I don't have the uh, extent of the pole that will attach it together. And you'll see that in just a moment. Now, as we hammer, the, hammer it in, you'll see that on the other side, we went ahead and added some of the genderless spacers. Because on the one end of the book corner, you have the half couplers. So to attach it to the base plate, these genderless spacers are the right tool for the job. I'm gonna go ahead and get what almost looks like a boom arm attached to it. Now, the way the book corner works is this little boom arm device, the pole gets attached to one side and the swivel clamp attaches to the other side and then to the book end. And then as we tilt that pole back, the book corner opens and closes. Now, I do my best to guesstimate that angle that I'm gonna go with, which in this case is almost a 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side of the truss. Now you can see as I walk up the pyramid that we used a junction block as the top part. This gives us a perfect 90 degree pyramid. And now you can see that the book corners are pretty much flush to the ground and at the perfect angle. They all, it almost set itself there. You can see that I'm on the right side over here. I'm bringing a couple more of my techs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up that side of the pyramid, slide the base plate underneath. And as we slide that base plate underneath, and we're using the one by four steel base plate, as we slide that underneath, I'm gonna loosen up those swivel clamps just a little bit to make sure that the book corner sits nice and flush. Once we tighten that in and we have those pins and clips locked in, then we're going to tighten that up completely. And that's pretty much it. It only took us about maybe 10 minutes or so to build. Super easy. And it just looks absolutely incredible when you add your lights to it. A backdrop, video screen, pipe and drape, or even as a standalone. You can create different setups. Actually, like this UFO. You can see the floating circle in the middle of it, but what we did is it was actually being connected to a smaller truss stick in the back to keep that circle in the middle stable. And the only way that we could really get that truss to tilt and still connect to the stabilizing truss was with a book corner. So again, a lot of different options. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox. My name is Arnaldo Wolfman, Gear It First. Thanks so much for watching this video. Any comments, questions, etc., leave them in the section below. Have a great night and God bless.